just slowly connecting to this moment. Bringing your awareness into this practice and beginning to set an intention for yourself. Connecting to how your energy is, how your spirit feels, how your emotions are today and your mental clarity and just connecting with all of them and then bringing them together through your breath, bringing everything into a cohesive whole, embodying yourself. And then begin to set the intention to lift your vibration up, lift your energy up, your emotions, your clarity, your joy, your vitality. So everything is beginning to rise with each breath. And let's all begin to take a deep inhale through our nose. And let's start with an open mouth exhale. I would like our second breath to be lion's breath. So you're going to take a deep inhale through your nose, open your tongue, look up into your third eye, very detoxifying breath. So inhale. Good. Now I want you to connect to your ujjayi breath. So just in and out through your nose, your mouth is shut. Feeling it vibrate in the back of your throat, filling up your heart, chest, and lungs, feeling that expansion, and then exhaling, releasing everything out. Good. And let's just begin to take some easy neck rolls. And just dropping in. Committing to this time for yourself without any distractions, opposite way. Just taking a moment to feel grateful to have this time to nurture yourself, knowing that the more we can love ourselves and heal ourselves, the more we can love others and heal others, we have more to give. Taking your left hand over your right ear, just gently press on your ear as that left ear comes towards your left shoulder. And then reach out your right arm and externally rotate it. Good. And then gently internally rotate. And then externally rotate. And then internally rotate. Good. Find your block and then place it underneath your right arm and just gently reach that block so that you're going a little bit deeper into that neck, pressing on the block. Good. And then we're going to pull our bellies back towards our spine, creating that connection between our belly and our back. So it's never not protected. And then I want you to visualize your internal rotation of your pelvis floor and lifting everything up, activating your mula bandha, and then bringing it up into your belly, your uddiyana bandha. Good. Gently take your left hand, open palm to the back of your head, and just gently press your chin down towards your chest. From here, while your chin is down towards your chest, lift that right arm up, and we're going to externally rotate it and internally rotate it, nice and slow. External, and then internal. Keeping your chin down towards your chest, drop your left hand down, pull your belly in, walk that arm further away from you, externally rotate your right arm, drop down into your left hand, and take a side bend here. Beautiful. Bending at your elbow with the right arm, open up your chest now and drop your head gently back, opening up your throat. Good. Then bring your ear over your shoulder and again, come into that side stretch. Beautiful. Pull your belly in, 
lift your arms up, raise yourself up, externally rotate your shoulders, drop them down your back. Inhale, reach your palms up, looking up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down to your heart. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms around through your upper back, drop your shoulders, and then inhale, lifting them up over your head, and then reach them behind you. Good. Bending slightly at your elbow, continuing to reach behind you. And now we're going to gently lift our chin up towards the sky, continuing to pull our belly back. And then exhale, chin down towards our chest. We're still bringing our arms behind us. Good. Press your palms together, reach your arms up overhead, pull your belly in, drop your right arm down. Come back into neutral, drop your right ear over your right shoulder, and then take your right hand over your left ear, but first take that block and bring it to the opposite side. Good. Taking a moment here, reaching out that left arm, we're going to externally rotate it, and then internally rotate. Externally rotate and internally rotate. Good. And then press your hand down on that block, reaching it so that we're really getting deep into our neck here. Taking a deep breath. And then gently open palm, bring your hand behind your head and just gently bring your chin down towards your chest. Good. Then inhale, reaching your arm up, externally rotate, internally rotate, externally rotate, and internally rotate. And then lifting your chin up, dropping your hand down, and just letting your chin rise up. Taking your left hand, lifting your head up, interlacing both fingers behind your head, pressing against your fingers, and lifting your chin up, dropping your shoulders down. Good. Opening up through your heart. Then slowly reach your left hand back, coming onto your fingertips. And reach your right arm back, coming onto your fingertips. Roll your shoulder blades together, and just drop your head back. Bring your hands to your lower back, pull your belly in towards your lower back, and then lift your head up. Good. Reach your arms out, reach them over your head, and exhale, Anjali Mudra. Interlace your fingers, flip your palms, round through your upper back. Shoulders are coming forward, your belly's pulling in, good. And then exhale, reaching your arms behind you. We're going to change the grip of our hands. So you're going to cup your hands, fingers like this. You're going to reach behind you, okay? And bending your elbow and pulling at your fingers. Good, pull that belly in. Really open up into your chest, dropping into your shoulders and slowly drop your chin down towards your chest. And then come up to neutral opening up, trying to bring those elbows even further back. And then slight engagement between your hands and your head, pressing a little bit just for some support as you reach your chin up, but still pulling on your fingers. Good. One more time, pull that belly in. We're going to reach our right hand behind us, our left hand behind us. Fingers are pointing away from us. Roll your shoulder blades together, lift up your heart. Your belly is still pulling in so you don't hurt your lower back and drop your head. Good, hands to your lower back and lift yourself up. Remove the block from under you so that now we're just seating, sitting on our mat, grabbing your ankles. We're going to inhale, open up our heart, 
Exhale, rounding, dropping our head, but we're holding on to our ankles to use that as leverage. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. We're going to do this for one minute, so let's start now. At your own pace, you can go slow, you can go fast. Listen to your body, but use your breath to link the movements. So we're going to inhale and bend, Exhale, inhale, exhale. So find your flow. Shoulders moving forward, shoulders moving back. Good. Waking up our spine, waking up our joints, building that Ajni, that fire, waking up our Kundalini, as we bring our mindfulness and our intention and our presence here. Good. Almost done. Ten more seconds. Find your rhythm. Five, four, three. Two, one, good. Walk your feet out slightly, creating a nice diamond shape, and then walk your hands forward, taking your block right on your feet, pressing your head in, and just walking your arms forward. Good, we wanna be feeling this in our outer hips. So if you're not feeling it, you can lower the block or just remove the block completely. Good, taking a deep inhale, and then walking your hands even more forward. Taking an inhale and walking your hands even more forward. And then I'd like you to gently walk your hands over to the left, coming onto your fingertips, lengthening through the right side of your back and just looking over your left shoulder. And then walking your hands back to center and coming down just a little bit deeper here. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And then walking your hands over towards the right, coming onto your fingertips and lengthening through the left side of your back. Gently looking over your right shoulder. Coming back to center, walking your hands out even more, and then forward fold. Good, and then gently bringing yourself up, swinging your legs around, coming into table, fingers spread nice and wide, and let's just take a few hip rolls. Good. Opposite direction. And then bring your hips down into child's pose, bending your elbows, palms together, and bring your hands behind your head, pushing up just a bit from your head into your hands to increase the engagement with your back. Two breaths here. Good, come back onto all fours. And let's take a few rounds of cat-cow. Fingers spread nice and wide. Roll your shoulders back. Exhale, round down. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, lifting up that right arm. And then exhale, threading the needle, dropping down onto our shoulder, walking that left arm forward. Good.
if you feel balanced, you can step back with your left leg coming onto your toes here. Good. Drop down back onto your knee, lift that left arm, slip it behind your back and open up your chest here even more. Reach that arm, press it down onto your mat, lifting yourself up, coming back into table. Inhale, open up your chest. Exhale, round. Good, walk your hands up, bring your hands to your lower back, bring your hips forward, and just gently take an easy back bend here. We're not releasing our hands, they're just on our lower back, hips coming forward, opening up our chest, dropping our head. One more breath. Good, pull your belly in, vertebrae by vertebrae, nice and slow, lift yourself back up. Good, come into center so you don't get dizzy, pull that belly, and come down into table one more time. Good. Inhale, lifting up your left arm, and then exhale, dropping onto your shoulder here, and bring that right arm forward, looking underneath your armpit towards the sky. If you're balanced, step back with that right leg. Gently drop down onto your knee, lift up that right arm and flip it behind you, opening up even more. Good, press both hands back down and come into cat cow. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Step your left foot forward and just drop gently pulsing into your hip as you take this low lunge. Good. We're going to sit up, gently take the block, bring it right by your knee, right by your right knee. And bring your hand onto that right knee, onto the block, sorry. Let me show you. And then just lift up your left arm into a back bend. So your hands on the block. Good, everybody's here. Beautiful. Lift yourself up, take that block, and now bring it over onto your left side. Press down with your left hand. You might need to come on your fingertips. And now we're gonna reach back with our right arm. Good. And then slowly come up. This time I want you to drop into your hips. Good. Pull that belly in and reach out with both arms, taking that back bend. Continue to sink down into your hips as you reach your arms behind you. Good. And then gently take both hands down. Tuck your toes under on your right leg. We're going to step into downward dog. Fingers spread wide and stepping into downward dog. Go ahead and take a deep inhale and exhale. Bending your left knee, bending your right knee. Shaking your head, yes. Shaking your head, no. Beautiful. Step forward with your right leg. Drop down with your left knee. Good. Coming into a low lunge here and gently pulsing. Nice and easy. Deep inhales, deep exhales. Take that block. Bring it right by your left knee. Move your fingertips facing away from you. 
press into the block, and then lift up your right arm and lean back. You're tucking your tailbone under, opening up into your psoas at the same time as you're extending and opening up your chest and your heart and your shoulders. Good, pull that belly in, lift yourself up, ground down into the earth with your feet as you take the block, bringing it over towards the left, bring your, sorry, to the right, bring your right hand you might need to come on your fingertips and then dropping down again. And we're going to inhale, reaching back with our left arm. Good, and gently come up. Move the block away once again, reaching both hands as you drop into that so as Feet are pressing into the earth. Strong belly to protect your back and then reaching behind you. Good. And then slowly taking both hands and stepping back into downward dog. Beautiful. Shaking your head yes. Shaking your head no. Shaking your head yes. Shaking your head now. And then walking your hands back towards your feet. Good. Pressing your hands down onto the earth. If they're not touching the earth right now, then just take a block. And we're just going to be here for five breaths. Spread your toes nice and wide. Roll your hips up towards the sky and feel your vertebrae getting longer as the crown of your head moves towards the earth. Find that deep Ujjayi breath. Deep inhale and a deep exhale. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. Slightly bend your knees and allow yourself to roll up to standing. Your head's the last thing to come up. Good. And from here, we're going to step back with our right leg behind us. We're going to take our left hand into our inner thigh, and then we're going to reach our right arm over our head. Let me see if you can see me better this way. So my legs and then my arm. So we're feeling that extension and then we're going to open up towards the sky. So you're really getting that lengthening through that front body. So again, your left hand is reaching behind you for your right thigh, your left leg's in front. And then we're extending over to the side with our right arm, opening back and front. So now we're just gonna rotate our chest back and forward. So opening up into our shoulder, slight bend in the elbow, and then reaching over our ear. Good. Belly still pulling in to protect your lower back. One more time. Bending that elbow, opening up our chest, and then over our ear. Good. Pull your belly in. Stand up straight, but keeping that cross in your leg. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly forward fold. Good. Releasing your hands down to the earth rolling your hips up now towards the sky. Pressing your hands down and bringing the crown of your head down towards the ground. Rolling your hips up and grounding down with your head. Deep breath. Walk your hands over to the left, looking over your left shoulder. Rising up through your hips. Coming back to center. And then walking your hands over towards the right, looking behind your right shoulder. Back to center. 
slight bend in your knee as you roll yourself back up to standing. Good, inhale, keep that cross with your legs, open up your palms, reach up your arms, pull that belly in, interlace your fingers, and then bring your hips forward and just lean back, opening up your chest in a back bend. You're still in that cross and your belly is still deeply pulled in. You don't want to get any injuries here. Interlace your fingers, gently bring them behind your head and take an even deeper back bend, opening up into your heart. But we're supporting our head with our hands here. So you're not going to hurt your neck. One more breath. Hips are still moving forward. Good. Lift up your head with your hands. Inhale, release. Exhale, feet together. And now we're going to step back with our, our left foot, reaching with our right arm, and then reaching over our head with our left arm. Good, so opposite side now. Beautiful, so that belly's still pulled in. Hips are coming out towards the side. So you are in a cross bottom, but your side body looks like a banana. Now we're going to bend that elbow and lift up towards the sky, but still opening through our obliques and our side body and our chest. And then we're going to extend out over our ears, more towards the side. Bend at the elbow, roll your chest open, opening up into your shoulder, and then opening up just right over the side. Good, pull that belly in, come back to neutral, hold your hips to protect your lower back as you slowly take that forward fold, that leg is still crossed, hands come down towards the earth. Beautiful. Once we're here, now we're going to take our hands, walk them over towards the right, and look over our right shoulder. Deep inhale. Deep exhale. And now walk them over to the left. And look over your left shoulder. Bring your hands in front of your feet, slight bend in your knees, separate your feet, about two fists width apart, grab your big toe in a yogi toe lock, inhale, roll your shoulders back, exhale, elbows out to the side and take that forward fold. Move your shoulders away from your ears as you're pulling up on your toes, bringing your head down, creating more space between your shoulders and your neck and opening through your spine and opening in the back of your leg. We're gonna be here for a few more breaths, so breathe nice and slow. And now from here, I want you to take your left hand, bring it to the outside of your right foot, lift up your foot and grab your toes and take your right hand, cross it behind your left hand and lift up your feet and hold on the outside of your feet. So your arms are in an X and you're holding the outside of opposite feet. And now bending at your elbows, take a forward fold. See what that feels like. Roll your shoulders back and see if you can go a little deeper. Good. Nice. Everyone looks great. We'll be here for three more breaths. Beautiful. Releasing here. Bring your hands down to the earth. Take your feet about as wide as the mat. Bending in your knee, rounding all the way up. Good. Come up to standing. And let's just take some hip circles here, just releasing our spine. Nice and slow. And the opposite di direction. 
Beautiful. And interlace your hands behind your back, rolling your shoulder blades together, pull that belly in, lift up your heart, inhale, and exhale, dropping your arms over your head as you bring your chest closer to your thighs. And now we're going to pull our shoulder blades together and pull those shoulders further down our back, away from our ears, feeling that release in your neck. Now shake your head just very slowly up and down, but grounding into the earth so you do not lose your balance. And then look left and right. Only your head's moving, nothing else. Good. Now we're going to take our hands and gently bring them over to the left as we look over our right shoulder, trying to squeeze the palm of your hands together. Good, back into center, and then let your hands flow over to the right as you look over your left shoulder. Good, back to center, and then gently releasing your hands down to the earth, bringing your heels in and your toes out, coming into Malasana. Good, and then lengthen through your spine, opening up into your chest. Good. Press down into your left hand. So your shoulder is on the inside of your knee and you're using your shoulder to push open your knee and you're reaching your arm out. Okay, once you're grounded here, your fingers are spread nice and wide and you're rolling your shoulder away from your knee, sitting into your hips, you're going to open up your chest and reach out with your right arm. Yes, perfect. Then from here, you're going to flip that arm behind your back and see if you can, with your fingers, grab onto your inner thigh. So we're gonna reach behind us trying to grab that inner thigh. If you can, use that hold to open up your chest even more and try and see if your knees can move out even more so you can even drop your hips down even lower. Good. Close your eyes and just enjoy what this feels like for your spine, for your chest, for your hips. Take a moment just to be here. Enjoy the yoga, enjoy the asana. Gently roll your head down, lift up that arm and reach it down and bring your palms back together and bring your hands by your chest. Roll your shoulders open, lead with your heart. Good, take a moment here. Deep inhale, deep exhale. Opposite side, take that right shoulder right by your knee and open up your arms. So your fingers are spread nice and wide and you're pressing into the earth. Once you're here and you're moving your knee back with your shoulder and you feel that, so it's externally rotating and pushing, then you're going to inhale and lift up that left arm. So you're really creating space here in your chest and that length through your side body. Now, once we're here, we're gonna flip that arm and rotate it behind our back. And then we're gonna see if we can reach for our inner thigh. Good. Roll your shoulder open even more. Taking that deep inhale, deep exhale, allowing yourself to enjoy it and giving yourself time to roll your shoulders away from your ears and drop in just a little deeper. Good. Lift that arm up, bring your hand down to the center, gently come forward and just lift up your heels and lift up your hips. We're not gonna move into curl yet. We're just gonna rock back and forth and then lean back, press your hands together. One more time. Reach your hands forward, we're on our fingertips. Elbows are pressing against your knee and you're just using that to lift your hips up. 
it's almost like a modified frog here. And then we're gonna come back down and lift your hands up. Let's do that one more time and we'll just spend a moment there. So we're going to drop our hands, elbows opening up our knees, and now bring your chest down and see if you could press into your elbows with your knees, opening into your pelvis. So you're feeling this in your psoas, you're feeling this in your hips, and if that feels good, just drop down your head onto the earth, but lifting yourself up with your elbows on your crease between your, well, inside your knee here. One more breath. And then lift yourself back up. Nice job, everyone, good. And roll back into Malasana. Good. And let's come into a twist just to protect our back, dropping down, and then taking that right foot over your left knee. Inhale. And anytime you do these deep forward bends and back bends, twists bring our spine back to neutral. So if you ever feel any sort of pain, just take a twist. That usually will relieve any tension. So really open up here. Good. And then take both hands, bring them over onto your left and look over your left shoulder. And let's just move right into Gomukhasana before the other side. So bringing your knees on top of each other, moving your flesh out. Let's take a block in front of us if you want to rest your head. And then gently walk your hands forward and dropping your head down onto the block and sitting into your hips, really opening up into your hips and the earth here. And let's stay here for about 10 breaths. So if you want here, spread your hands wide, come onto your fingertips so that you are pressing down on the block with your forehead, which gives gravity no other choice but to press down through your hips. So you'll go a little deeper here. Two more breaths, nice and deep, nice and slow. Good, and then let's take that block. Let's bring it right outside our left toe, walking it out a little bit further, and then dropping down to your elbow, taking that side bend. So, either bringing your hand or your elbow onto the block and just opening up, good. And then we're going to bend that elbow, lift our chest, coming into a slight back bend, and then straightening that arm over our ear, and then bending the elbow, opening up our chest, coming into our shoulder, and then straightening our arm over our ear. Good, gently lift yourself up. Bring your hands slightly behind you. Roll your shoulder blades together. Drop down even more into your hips. Lift your chest. Walk them even behind you. See if you can drop down onto your hands, fingers pointing away. Bring your knees forward as you lift your chest and drop your head. Come up onto your fingertips. Walk your hands forward. Take that block and come to the opposite side, bringing your elbow or your hands down. And then taking that side stretch on the opposite side, arm directly over your ear. Good. Now we're going to bend our elbow and bring it back. Reach over our ear. Good. And then bending it, open up into our chest. 
and then reach it over our ear. Beautiful. And then lift yourself nice and slow. Good, bring your hands back, shift the weight onto your hips, reach your legs forward, nice and slow, straighten them out. And then from here, press your hands behind you, your legs are straight, fingers are spread wide, roll your shoulder blades together, and just drop your head one more time. Slowly walk your hands forward. Inhale, reach up your arms. Your belly is squeezing in. We're always being gentle towards our lower back. Squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. We're gonna take a forward fold. Inhale, look up halfway, roll your shoulder blades back. Feel your spine getting longer. Exhale, gently forward fold. Good. Let's take five breaths here. Roll yourself up. Inhale, just roll your shoulders back, bring your palms face up. And just take a moment here, pulling your belly in and just opening up through your heart. Good. Set the intention that we wanna just feel open. We want our shoulders to feel open, our back to feel longer. Set the intention and the vision of how you wanna feel in this moment. Good, and then we're going to just bring our left foot over our right knee, lift ourselves up, maybe move some flesh out, and then lifting up our right elbow, bring it to the outside of our left knee, and coming into a twist on the opposite side. My fingers are Gaia Mudra, and my elbow is pushing my knee. That's what's helping me twist. I'm pushing with leverage, I can get deeper, Spine nice and long, and then twisting from the upper back. Good, and looking over my shoulder here. And then gently untwisting, bringing both hands to the opposite side, looking over my right shoulder, dropping down into my left. And once again, moving right into our Domokasana, knee on knee. And let's just take a moment to find that sweet spot here. So no rush, really see how deep you can get, how stacked your knees can be, how much your flesh can actually press into the earth. So you're really feeling this through your hips. Then once you're here, take that block in front of you. Walk your hands, we're gonna move our arms out. So that gravity is gonna help us get deeper into our hips and then we're gonna press down on our head onto the block. So we're pressing into the block with our third eye and then we're grounding down through our hips and we're on our fingertips with our arms out to either side. Good, if you don't have a block, you can just let your head hang. It'll do exactly the same, probably even more intense. And then start to take those 10 deep breaths. Two more deep inhales and deep exhales. Good, and then gently bring yourself up. Take a moment, root down through your hips. 
And then taking that block, bring it over onto your left side, drop into your elbow, and let's open up through our side body once again. This time, see if you can bring your elbow, and just like we did in the beginning when we hooked our fingers, let's see if we can do that again. So now bring it still behind your head, hook those fingers, and just open up into your chest here. So you're dropping down into your hip, you're opening up through your side, and you're gripping your fingers, you're pulling against each other, protecting your neck, so there's a little support there behind your head, and you're opening up, your gaze is towards the sky, and you're opening that elbow up behind you. Good, see what that feels like, and if that feels good, deep stretch all through the side body, chest, and into your hip here. One more breath. Good, release that arm, release both arms. Gently lift yourself out with your fingertips. Both fingertips down, lifting up your heart. Take a deep inhale. Take a deep exhale. And let's move to the opposite side. So we're going to bring our left elbow. We're going to reach behind us. We're going to hook our fingers. You might need two blocks, that's fine. So again, ground down through that right hip. Slight pressure behind your head so you're not hurting your neck and straining it. Pulling up and down on your hands and then rolling that elbow up towards the sky and behind you, taking a deeper twist here and expansion into that chest. So feeling it really nice, that side body, heart opener, beautiful, oh, nice. And then we're going to lift our chest forward as we bring our head back. Good. One more breath. Gently release your arm. Lift yourself up. Fingers behind you, pressing away from you. And maybe go a little bit further this time behind you. Walk them even back. And then press down. Heart lift, knees pressing down towards the earth, and gently drop your head. While you're here, press down into the hand towards your wrist, and gently with the pressure, moving your hands away from each other. So they're pressing down to the earth and out to either side, and see what that does into your chest. So we're not actually moving, it's, it's a subtle movement. It's just what you're doing inside yourself. It's that energy of the hand as your head is dropped. And then gently walk your hands forward. Taking your left hand and bringing it down to the earth, we're gonna take a twist. And then twisting on the opposite side, bringing the opposite hand forward, good. And twist. Good. From here, we're going to just gently swing our feet around, come up onto all fours. Fingers spread wide, and then drop down into your hips lifting up your knees and taking upward dog. Good. From here, we're going to come into downward dog, but I don't want you to flip your toes. I want you to actually press your feet down onto the earth and see what that feels like. And right where it, when it starts to hurt, slowly drop yourself down right into upward dog. Yeah, good. Let's do that one more time. So slowly lifting up your hips, use your core to lift you. You're opening up through the front of your feet, drop your head right when you feel any sort of discomfort. Slowly bring yourself back down into upward dog, pressing into the earth with your hands. Yes, good. Drop your knees, bring your feet together, and slowly sit back into child's pose. Good. 
Deep inhale and deep exhale. Come up onto your knees and bring that right foot forward. Bring both hands to the inside of that foot and just little rock side to side. We're going to come out to that outer edge of our foot, taking our right hand to the inside and then just dropping into that hip, looking over our right shoulder. Good, and then coming back. And then lifting yourself up, taking your left hand again to the inside. So your fingers are coming to the inner thigh. Drop down, pull your belly in, and then just lifting up that right arm, reaching it behind you, and see if that hand can walk back to the crease of your knee, if it can slide down your leg, going a little deeper now. And gently come up. Good. And then just take both hands and then lifting that foot up and take a forward fold. Beautiful. A few deep breaths here. And then bring that knee back and bring that left foot forward. Bring both hands to the inside. And we're just going to once again drop into that hip. And then just gently flow side to side, front and back. And then coming to the outer edge of that foot, pressing on the inside of your knee dropping down into your psoas and then looking over your shoulders. Try not to bring your shoulder by your ear, still opening up, moving, nice adjustments, everyone. Good, opening up your chest, beautiful, one more breath. Good, and then bringing both hands down and then taking your hand to either side of your foot. And now we're taking that right hand, we're pressing it to the inside of our back leg. And we're gonna see how much we could slide down as we inhale, lifting up that left arm, taking that back bend, dropping into our hip. And bring both hands down and lift our hips back and take a forward fold. Deep inhale, and deep exhale. And then gently bring both feet forward, bring your hips down. We're just going to close with the back bend um, using our blocks. So we're going to bring them like a T. If you don't have two blocks, you can just use one for your mid back. And if you don't have any blocks, but you have a blanket or a towel, you can roll that up the long way and um, stack them on pillows but we just want something in between our shoulder blades to give us height as we're lying down and we're going to bring our feet together. So that first block is going the long way. It's going to start right where our bra strap is. So right between our shoulders. And now that second block is going to go right underneath our head. 
We're going to bring our feet as close to our hips as possible. And your arms are going to be over your head in a V. Slight bend in your elbows so that we're getting deeper into our chest here. Heart opener, heart expansion, and a total release here. Good. We'll be here for 10 full breaths. And then gently roll over to one side. Remove your prop out from under you. Rolling back onto your spine, lifting up your legs and coming into happy baby. Dropping your knees as close to the earth as you can, grounding through your tailbone. And then opening up your legs wide. Good. And then rooting down to your tailbone. And bringing them gently back into happy baby. And then gently opening them up wide. Good. One more time. And then wide. Gently hug your knees into your chest. Take a deep inhale through your nose and an open mouth exhale. And one leg at a time, moving yourself into Shavasana.
Begin to slowly come back to your body. Bring in the energy to your toes, up your feet, to your ankles and your legs. Move the vibration up to your hips, your belly button, into your stomach, up to your chest and your shoulders, down your arms, elbows, wrists and fingers. Bring the awareness into your throat, into your jaw, into your cheeks, your nose, your eyes, your third eye. Up to the crown of your head. And set an intention for how you would like to feel throughout the rest of the day. And really connect to that vision and that feeling. Planting the seeds to manifest. As you slowly roll over to one side in a fetal position. Lifting yourself up to a cross leg seated position with your hands in front of your heart. And I'm going to unmute us all as we close our practice by chanting all. Let's take one cleansing breath. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale for all. The light in me honors and bows to the light within you. Have a beautiful Thursday, and I'll see you here on Tuesday for Yin. Yay. Thank you. I hope I hit all the spots you wanted. Oh, yeah. That was good. <laughs> good. Have a beautiful day, everyone. So good to see you. You too. Aloha. Aloha.